Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to compare two kajals which are uh, available in the market. So the first one is the Lakme Iconic Kajal. This is the revamped version of Lakme Iconic. The earlier one was lasting up to 10 hours but this one lasts up to 24 hours. And the other one is a new launch from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline, uh, the Colossal Kajal. This is how it looks. It is quite similar to the older Maybelline Kajal. But the only difference is that this also stays that it lasts for 24 hours. The reason why I wanted to compare these two kajal because as they both state that they are uh, lasting on your eyes for 24 hours, so that's why I thought that it's a good, uh, it's a good basis for comparing these two. So Maybelline one is, as I said earlier, also it's a new launch from Maybelline. They have also revamped their earlier Maybelline colossal kajal, which is to last up to 10 hours as per. Uh, what they have mentioned on the pamphlet uh, they provide with this kajal so that's the reason why i wanted to compare this kajal with the lakme iconic one because they both are stating that they're going to last on our eyes for 24 hours so now let us not wait any further and go into the comparison uh, so anybody anybody would have used the lakme iconic uh, range they know how the typical packaging of lakme iconic looks like i don't have uh, the currently with me the Lakme Iconic packaging so it's a blue and black mix kind of a pamphlet uh, in which the kajal is, uh, uh, is placed and I have this Maybelline New York Colossal uh, uh, packaging it says it lasts for 24 hours and at the back they have written all the prices and other uh, how to use and other stuffs so this is how uh, the packaging of Maybelline one looks quite typical uh, Generally, I think all these uh, pencil kajals are coming uh, in just in this kind of a packaging only. So there is nothing unique or nothing outstanding in the packaging. So the, this uh, packaging looks like this is the Maybelline one and this is the Lakme Iconic one. So there is only difference is of colors. Otherwise, the body, the sleekness, everything is quite similar. So there is nothing much of a difference. So, so the Lakme Iconic has a typical packaging black and blue and the Maybelline has typical packaging black and yellow so there is nothing uh, much uh, of a difference in here let us discuss the pricing of these two products so the Lakme Iconic one is priced at Rs 180 for 0.35 grams and so as the Maybelline the Colossal Kajal it is also priced at Rs 180 for 0.35 grams so the price and the product we get in these two Kajals is absolutely same so there is no comparison over here and now we will go into the texture of these two kajals. Let us talk about the texture of these two kajals. So the hair I have swatched these two kajals. So this is the swatch of Maybelline and this is the swatch of Lakme. So once you apply the Maybelline Colossal on your eyes, it has a matte texture. On both on waterline, waterline as well as on the upper lid, it is quite a matte formula. As, as compared to Lakme, Lakme has a glossy sheen to it. It, it, it is, both these uh, kajals have a, a soft texture but uh, the clear difference is that Maybelline is matte and Lakme is a glossy texture. So it is up to your preference what you prefer. I prefer a glossy kajal in my eyes. So I'll choose Lakme but you might like a matte kajal. So then you may choose uh, Maybelline. But for this video I think I pref prefer Lakme because it has a glossy texture and I really like a glossy texture in kajal. Uh, now as we have compared the texture, now the major point compares comparison of the blackness in the kajal because they both are black so as you can see in the swatches I find the, the Lakme one more glossy than the Maybelline one and more blackier than the Maybelline one actually there is a very fine line between the blackness of the two because one is glossy and another one is matte but as as I'm a dusky girl and when I apply the kajal on my eyes I find Lakme more standing out than Maybelline so even on the hand, it might appear for some people that uh, Maybelline one is more gloss, is more blackier than Lakme. But as on my personal experience, when I've used both of them on my eyes, I find the Lakme one more stands out on my eyes than the Maybelline one because it it shows more that a kajal is applied as compared to the Maybelline one. I think when I'm understood, and what I'm trying to say is that Lakme appears more black in my eyes than uh, the Maybelline one. So that is uh, my comparison. So when it comes to blackness. For me, uh, because uh, uh, you know, uh, I need a really, really dark black kajal for uh, to show up on, on my skin because I have a dusky skin. So if I want my eyes to look extremely black and uh, smoky and coaly, I want an absolutely black kajal. So when I am comparing these two, I find the Lakme is that absolutely black kajal among these two. 
So for this thing, I think I'll choose Lakme over Maybelline here also. As both these car, both these cards state that they are waterproof and smart proof and a lot of things. So now let us test them on their smart proofness and waterproofness. So I've applied them really long back when I was uh, showing you the texture. So now let us try and smudge uh, this Maybelline one with our fingers because I'm I'm going very lightly with my fingers because we're never gonna be very harsh on our eyes. So this is uh, what is the residue I've got on my eyes. So it is quite smudge proof. And now we will check about this lacquer one. So, okay. so this is the amount of uh, product uh, we get. So I think Maybelline has a better smudge proofness than lacquer, which is very understandable because lacquer is glossy, so it has a tendency to you know slip away, wash away. But um, as uh, this Maybelline is a matte texture, it will not budge easily out of your eyes. So now let us see whether they are waterproof or not. So I dip this uh, cotton swab in uh, water and now first of all we will test the Maybelline one. So this is what we have got, absolutely nothing, it's very minimal. And now we will uh, test the Lakme one. So both of them are quite waterproof, so they are not, uh, they are not lying in any way that they are not, they are, that they are waterproof, they are absolutely waterproof. In fact, with my personal experience, I can also say that they are absolutely, absolutely waterproof. Uh, so now let us uh, talk about how it uh, went on me and how it is uh, long lasting and how well it is on use, on daily use. So I have used uh, both these kajals on daily basis for a week now, so I can say that both these cards will have an extremely, extremely uh, great performance on the lower lash line, that is on your waterline or if you have light on the lower lash line, it is absolutely spot on these two cards. They have great pigmentation, the single swipe will give you the uh, color you want and they will last really long. If you just wash them with a face wash or water, they are not going anywhere. I'm just telling you, they are not going anywhere. So that that's how they go they are good at the lower lash line but when it comes to upper eyelid both these kajal have a very similar kind of a performance which is not really great because I, it may be different on others because my eyelids are a bit oily so they just slip away really easily but it may not slip away on other people or if you powder your eyes on a daily basis or apply a good powder and concealer and then apply a kajal I think they may stay long but on a daily basis I don't do these things I don't apply a concealer and a powder on my eye I just use them blankly on my eyes so on the upper eyelid they do not stay really long so that is a, a bit of a factor but if I compare who stays long so then I'll think I'll say that Lakme stays a bit more than the Maybelline one as although Maybelline has a matte texture and it should stay more on my eyelids but I have found that Lakme stays on more than the uh, Maybelline one but that difference is really negligible I mean if, if my um, Lakme Kajal goes off in 4 hours from my upper lid, so the Maybelline one will go off in 3, so three and a half hours. So it is that negligible kind of a difference between their staying power on the upper eyelid. On the lower eyelid, they both are not at all questionable, they are really really good. So now let us just sum up our comparison. So I think the price wise both these Kajal are extremely great. Now, availability, I think they both are available, like readily available, they are online, they are available in malls, they are available everywhere. So the availability is also not going to be an issue to anybody. Another thing is uh, the price. Price is, I think, 184.35 gram per hour is really good because of the performance. They, they give a really good performance. They are really black and they really stay on for really a long day. If you are if you're a person who applies coal on a daily basis, I think these two are really affordable and a good brand products which you should go for. So, but when it comes to which is more black, because always when we compare Kajal or whenever I choose other like Kajal among two, I always look at which is more black. So, for me, this is Lakme one, for you, it may be some other. But for me, on my eyes, I think Lakme looks, Lakme pops out more than the Maybelline one, so I'll choose Lakme one. The staying power is almost similar, there is no difference. Waterproofness, they both are waterproof, so there is no difference. So, the only difference which comes among these two is which is more black so for me it is lacme for you it may be maybelline because 
of your skin tone or any other factors but for me as lacme pops out more on my eyes more blackme on my eyes i think i'll choose lacme over maybelline so that's all guys for my this review and i hope you've enjoyed this and if you did so please like comment and subscribe to my channel and if you have any requests or if you want me to compare any two products to or more than two products please comment below i would love to do so and i'll see you in my next video bye